Oh my God, did you even realize? Last one year was a game changer. Life science industry has been revolutionized and I must tell you that it all happened overnight. It feels like just yesterday, but today the type of jobs which are coming in the biotech industry is wow. So I, th I think we should have a video on that. So let's jump in and find out 10 new job opening and opportunities which are coming up new opportunities which is coming up for all of you in the life science sector and these are very exciting. So what were the things which happened in the last one year? We will first talk about that. So you had AI ML coming in, you had bioinformatics growing, you had uh, agri-tech coming in, health tech coming in, biomedical engineering boomed. Then we also saw various data-driven insights coming in, cost machine learning. Apart from that, uh, stem cells, yes, we saw CRISPR, we saw. So a lot of new things are happening. Of course, the, um, biotech companies are now realizing that they need um, you know, graphic designers and stuff. And so all of that I'm going to talk about in today's video. So 10 job roles which were not there last last year are now there. So the first one, uh, it's something similar, but yeah, the work has changed, the work profile has changed. So still they're called as bioinformatics specialist, but now they're doing new things like genomic data analysis. They're developing algorithm for machine learning. They're working on pharmacogenomics, applying genetic information to optimize drug selection and dosages for you know enhanced patient outcomes. So this is the kind of job which we are seeing, which was not there like one year ago. Um, machine learning, artificial intelligence, the bioinformaticians are now transitioning into that. And that is really amazing. So bioinformatics grew and the job roles changed and the job responsibilities are evolving. This was a great, great, great um, development. The second thing which I saw was, I saw gene therapy technician jobs. So, so CRISPR based editing and viral vector development are two things which has happened in the last one year. We are looking at performing precise genetic uh, gene modifications using cutting edge CRISPR Cas9 technology to correct genetic anomalies. So we saw gene therapy technician doing that. Then we also saw crafting of targeted viral vectors for delivering therapeutic genes into a patient cell promising breakthrough treatment. So these are the two th new things which happened in the genomics uh, genetic space. Then the third thing which I saw was the digital health coach. So now we have telemedicine and health apps and all these health apps and telemedicine and the doctors are there and then there are remote monitoring solutions where the doctors are not there at the on-site and they're off-site and they're monitoring your health. So these are the three new changes which we saw in the biotech and life science health tech space. Then we also saw the rise of synthetic biology, right? So synthetic biologists were seen, now we are seeing uh, job openings where you have to engineer microorganisms, manipulating genetic codes to create bespoke microorganisms with tailored metabolic pathways for numerous industrial applications. So that is one type of uh, change which we saw. Then we saw bioproduction optimization by synthetic biologists. So leveraging the synthetic biology to boost uh, production yields of valuable bioproducts and biofuels in a sustainable and eco-friendly manner. Then we saw biosecurity measures being taken by synthetic biologists wherein designing robust biocontainment strategies to mitigate potential risk associated with genetically modified organisms. So this, this is where we saw syn the rise of synthetic biology. Then of course, we also saw the rise of precision medicine thanks to genomic sequencing and pharmacogenomic studies and a lot of clinical research which is happening. So now we are in a position that in the next three years, we will see precision medicine uh, growing and we will have um, you know, personalized medicine space uh, available for all the patients. So that was another uh, jo job role which I saw. Apart from that, uh, my observation was uh, we had companies coming to Biotechnica and they were looking for someone who has a digital marketing experience, but for biotech companies, right? And especially in India, this was very interesting. So digital marketing experience for biotech companies, that, that was one type of job which we saw. Then we saw jobs where graphic designing, okay? So we, we even saw in Ccamp and various other places that graphic designing where the degree should be a biotech guy, somebody who has experience of graphic designing, but he should be from the biotech background. So these were the seven type of new jobs which we saw uh, in the biotech sector in the last uh, several years, last one year. But uh, what excites me is 
stem cell because the kind of research papers which are being published in stem cells, even there we are going to see a revolution coming in. So overall, you have quantum computing growing, you have machine learning, artificial intelligence, bioinformatics, CRISPR-Cas9 and precision medicine stem cells. All of this is probably leading us to something bigger, better for the human race. So my suggestion to all our subscribers would be keep studying, keep innovating, keep applying your knowledge into the lab space because you never know, you can be the next Nobel Prize winner. So these were my thoughts about the biotech revolution, the different type of jobs which are coming up now in this space in the last one year. So stay tuned and stay subscribed to Biotechnica, especially its newsletter because we keep talking about a lot of jobs being posted in the biotech sector only in our newsletter. And you can get a free newsletter every day at 7 p.m. Indian Standard Time if you subscribe to the newsletter. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.